She's Mylon. He's Tyler. And together we make My Tai. Today's skill video is how to set up a feeding tube and pump. So this is what the formula bottle looks like. They are usually customized to the patient's dietary needs. Depending on your facility and what manufacturer they use, just make sure the recommended tubing corresponds to the feeding pump you are going to be using. Kangaroo pump is what my institution uses and this is what the packaging tubing looks like. The connecting part is formed into a Y with one end to a one liter flush bag and the other end to a spiker to spike your formula bottle. The other end will connect to the patient's tubing. I will now tear open the packaging. Put on gloves. This is what the spiking end looks like. And you can see both of the X matches perfectly together. Spike the bottle by pushing in to break the seal and then twisting to secure it into place. Put that aside. A labeling sticker will be provided in with the kit to write down the date and time of when the formula bottle was spiked open. Depending on facilities protocol, but usually a formula bottle and its tubing is changed every 24 hours. After 24 hours, the formula is expired and can crystallize in the bottle or in the tubing, which is not good for your patients. Don't forget to include your initial as well. I will now grab my flush bag and fill it with water. Close the top and securing it by pushing it into place and then grab the side flap, twisting it into its locking components. As you can see here, I have hung my formula bottle and flush bag onto a pole. Grab the connecting Y part and sliding it into the section on the left side. Loop it around the wheel and sliding the remaining to the right side. In case you forget, there is a little diagram provided on the pump to instruct you on how to do it. Close the handle, pushing it until you hear a click. Press the power to turn on the pump. There's an option to keep or clear setting. The keep settings will automatically program the last setting that was put in. I am going to press clear setting. Now it's time to prime the pump. You can press auto pump, but I like to manually prime it myself for better control. So press the button that says hold to prime flush. Keep holding and you can see water from the flush bag priming the tubing. I keep holding until the water reaches the door handle. Now press and hold the button that says hold to prime feed. Keep holding it until the formula reaches all the way to the end of the tubing. You are now finished priming the tubing. Press done to return to the main menu. So here's an example of the doctor's order. Jevity 1.2, give at 40 mils per hour, 
with 30 mils flush every four hours. Press adjust feed, feed rate, and put in the appropriate rate order by the doctor. In this video, it will be 40 mils per hour. Now, press the button that says Feed VTBD, Volume to be Deliver, and put in the total volume of the formula bottle. I'm personally putting in 100 because I want the pump to beep and remind me to come back and change my patient's rate. Run. You are now done programming your feeding rate. Let's program flushing now. Don't worry, the steps are exactly the same. Press hold, adjust settings, adjust flush, flush interval. Flush interval is how often you want the program to flush. Our order is every four hours, so let's put that in. Enter. Now press flush volume. This is the amount of mils we want the program to flush every four hours. The order is 30 mLs, so let's put that in. Enter. Before we press done programming, I like to do a last check with the doctor's order. Jevity 1.2 at 40 mils per hour with 30 mL flush every four hours. And that is how to set up feeding tube and the pump. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Also, check out our other videos on our channel as well. Bye!